most people think when you have gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity that you have to have gastrointestinal symptoms. But actually what's a lot more common, as she said, is that it actually attacks the brain. So now you, you have people that have, have brain fog, poor memory, you know, oh, I'm dyslexic, I just mix up left and right, you know, I was born that way, you know. I guarantee you 80% of my patients are dyslexic. Well, you wonder why, okay. Um, and, and on and on, you go into depression, ADD, ADHD with children, into autism, all right. So there's a lot of problems into migraines, of course you have the GI symptoms, any kind of chronic inflammatory condition, anybody that has chronic inflammation or any autoimmune disorder. When we have a reaction to a food, a food sensitivity, one of the things that happens is that the body develops something called a leaky gut. All right? And a leaky gut, all this means is, it comes, kind of sounds a little scary, but think of your intestinal wall, and your intestinal wall should be nice and solid, okay? Only very, only very select molecules should be able to go through there. Very small broken down amino acids, not full big proteins and things like that. When you eat foods that you have a sensitivity to, one of the things that does, it creates inflammation. And that inflammation of your intestinal wall makes that intestinal wall porous. So now you have these gaps, these junctions, all right? And when you have these junctions, protein molecules and other molecules can actually get through the junction into your bloodstream, all right? And that will cause reactions. Immune system, allergies, asthma, all the way to autoimmune disorders, all right? 